My name is Eric Strebel, and welcome to another video of mine about industrial design. This is episode 8 of the Adventure Toy Rendering Series. Click on the screen here to watch some of the past episodes. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this insane rear engine fuel celled race truck toy concept. I start this sketch out just like I start out most of the other ones with some sort of a good solid underlay so that my perspective is correct. I do this by taking a photograph of some of the toy parts that I snap together and use that to create a good composition and a nice view. I've already done the wheels and the ground shadow on this uh, race truck right here. I've even gone in and I've outlined the outside of the vehicle and many of the Paraclick uh, toy blocks with pen because I purposely want the ink from the Prismacolor markers to smear and start to fade the ink that's already on the page. And I do this because I want a little bit of a weathered kind of look. I don't want a super crisp detail. It's a race truck and I want it to look like it's already been on the track, kind of racing a little bit. And so it's for a very good reason I do this. Next, I put in the values of the front windscreen and value change equals form change. And it's very evident here as the windscreen wraps around and away from us, it gets darker as that's the darkest side of the vehicle. The vehicle sources, uh, the light source is coming from the right hand side. Next, I'm going in and I'm filling in the details. And this sketch, the details are super important. It's somewhat technical um, because it does show the parts that hold the entire vehicle together but the details of this vehicle are what create the interest you have a little fuel cell in the middle uh, and then the engine in the back and then in between the fuel cell and the engine you have this huge air intake these little details create interest uh, visual interest of course um, they could uh, be functional if this was an actual let's say motorized little toy that you drove around for example that fuel cell in the middle could potentially hold some batteries they might be replaceable or interchangeable there uh, so the details of this are super important and I spend a fair amount of time on the details to really show uh, how this vehicle would be held together how it would work next I'm going to worry about the details of the glass. The surfaces of the glass that are closest to the light, I add a little bit of white and I actually do a little fade. Uh, this is very much how uh, glass sort of works. It's never a solid color. Most surfaces aren't a solid color. They always uh, fade from dark to light in some sort of way. I come back in and I add in more details with my Papermate pen here. Uh, to increase the contrast between the parts. In this case here, I'm working on the wheels. Uh, you'll notice even the wheels have a fair amount of detail in the tread. They have a special uh, adhesion and uh, heat dissipation pads on the outside for since this truck is so large, um, the wheels need to have that uh, for when it's racing. Here I add in a little bit more contrast to some of the little details. Um, I don't think it has quite enough punch right there, so I add in a little bit of dark as the power click wraps. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm not happy with the color. It's a little too muted for me, and so I find a nice bright yellow, and it really punches up the vehicle a little bit, uh, makes it a little brighter, and I'm happy with that color. And I see the wheels uh, are kind of plain. Um, and I add in these sort of 80 styles of vented discs on the side to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. Uh, not that it would really matter on a big, huge truck like this, but, uh, you know, it is a race car, so might as well add that in here. So here I work on the details of the adhesion and uh, thermal transfer pads on the outside of the tires. Uh, they change, they're obviously darker as they're away from the light. And again, it's about the details here 
to really make this thing sing and come together. If you have any toy concepts that need to be designed, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always interested and eager to work on toys. And that's it. Um, there is one thing here that's driving me a little crazy that I want to point out is the outline of the ground plane shadow. Uh, I absolutely dislike that. Um, I've left it in here just to point it out. Um, I would probably remove that in Photoshop. Um, but it makes it look like it's a puddle. And I'm not happy about that. Uh, but I'm leaving it in here just to show you. Uh, now that I pointed it out, it's probably pretty obvious. But normally I would take that out. The shadows don't really have that. Come back next week and we're going to take a look at this uh, military vehicle and I'll show you how I do the color rendering of that. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. Rock on.